thank you for your participation. We survived. All police and emergency services have been reinstated. All crime, including murder, is now illegal. Come on, let's get to work. One night only. The rest of the year is peaceful. Jason, how are you doing today? Very good. How are you? I'm good. Where in the world am I talking to you from? I am in Brooklyn, New York. Oh, it looks nice and sunny there. Um, nice. Congratulations on the movie. Of course, I, I'm sure everyone's asking this, but why Why now? Why end The Purge now? Why decide it, it needs to come to an end? I keep asking the director the same question. I mean, I have <laughs> no idea. It should not end. I still think I might talk him into a one, one more installment, but so far you're right. He's saying this is the end. So I don't know. Maybe he's lived with the purge long enough. It's, it's <laughs> you know, it's not a it's not a fun world to live in. So I get, I understand his pain. No, like I, I did. I, I know that it um it kind of it finished filming, I guess, around I think it was February 2020. Um, but it does feel like a a reaction to what we saw in Washington. In 2021, just the the Congress building uh, being taken over, and it's 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 so bizarre that a film that finished almost a full year before that has still got these like crazy political ramifications. Is that something that you're, I guess, hyper or acutely aware of? Yeah, no, I'm very aware of it. It's amazing. James has done that like three or four times on these movies. He's somehow predicted the future. I don't know how he does it, but uh, but he's very good at kind of sensing the the um you know the 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 next big issue or crisis facing facing america he's done that done that a bunch and he did that with this movie too uh you know maybe he maybe has a crystal ball in his in his office i don't know how he does it i guess more than any one any any of the previous purges i do feel like um this one almost needed to have two very different endings depending on how the vote turned out last year um, because I feel it would be be coming to two very different audiences and two very different uh, kind of Americas. Was there any talk of we'll need to see how uh, November plays out before we decide the future of this movie? No, you know, they're never, we never, we never do that. We've never done that on any of the movies. Uh, You know, the priority for James is to make a great, scary movie. They're not, the issue is kind of second to, you know, and the, the 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 bigger idea for the for the forever purge was this idea that all rules are out the window. There's no limit to the purging that you can't contain contain anarchy. You can't contain chaos. Um, but I don't think we would ever we would never like redo a purge movie um, based on current events. That's fair enough. I, just uh, again, because it is so, like so topical um, and you have become kind of quite essentially like the, the front man for Hollywood horror at the moment, like your, your CV both passed and coming up is just so massively impressive. But I'm curious, um, considering the last like year and a half that we've had, have you been inundated with pandemic-esque horrors just trying to- I really, kind of- I, 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 I have, I've been inundated and I just, I can't imagine anything I'd like to do less than a pandemic. <laughs> it's just like, I don't want to make the, the idea of a horror movie about the pandemic. That is a horror. The pandemic has been a horror movie. The last thing I need to do is, or I want to make is a horror movie about the pandemic. So I, I don't, you know, I don't know why, you know, I mean, I do know why they did it, but I don't know. I mean, we're not doing one. I just, I can't, and I'm never going to see one. I lived it. I don't need to, I don't need to do it or see it, but yes, the answer to your question is I've seen a lot. <laughs> And I'd imagine so, yeah. Um, and just one final question. The last time we spoke was for The Invisible Man, sure. uh, which remains like, like no word of a lie, it's still one of my favourite horror movies of the last decade. I absolutely oh, love thank it. thank you. I, I, I go oh, back good. and watch it all, all the time. Thank but you. just looking forward, um, I have to ask about your take on The Wolfman because it's reuniting with Invisible Man director. Uh, yeah. And it's just, it's another one of those that's got me very excited. Um, is there anything you can say about that at all? 
but not, I can't say anything. We're, we're in active development, but I can't, uh, I can, we haven't cracked it yet, but we're getting close. <laughs> can you say even like, is it, is it going to be like uh, Invisible Man-esque as in it's set modern times or will we be kind of harking back to? I can't even say that. I can't even say can that. Not say because that? I, we're, 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 we're you know, we don't, I don't know. There's no answer. So I can't say it. <laughs> Fair enough. I thought I'd try anyway. Thank you so of much, course. Jason. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Mexico was opening its borders for the next six hours. Let's go. We're in this together. 